Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just yesterday on Facebook, somebody posted to try to do this with a skyline. And I actually played around with it quite a bit and came up with this on their skyline, but using the envelope tool, but it's pretty difficult. And you can see there's, it's going to be changed, but there's four buildings that are almost identical because I had to do this in half circles because to, to envelope this around the whole thing, just, I can't do it. Maybe somebody could do it, but I can't do it. So we're going to do one right here. Somebody suggested, why don't you change it to a font character? Well, I don't know how you can change his skyline to a font character or a symbol, but it kind of made me think there's got to be a font that's probably a skyline. So I did this, so it's not his skyline, but it is a skyline, and it's pretty cool. And to do this, I just went to DA fonts and picked one of these skylines. And I'm actually using one called Skyline. Now, to make this work, you've got a circle, and I've converted the circle to a curve so this will work. We go to Windows, Dockers, Object Properties, and right here, you can find out the length of your curve, which is 10.73. So to get this to wrap around, you need something equal to 10.73 long. So I made my, so it would kind of squash up, I made my text 11 inches long. So this is a text. So go to text, fit text to path, and just put it in there. And you can see it's not perfect on this skyline one. Let's back up here. Skyline actually looks better, but I actually downloaded one called Super Skyline. And it's quite a bit bigger, so let's make this 11. I think the buildings in Skyline actually look better, but this I think this actually works better. So we've got it at 11, our circle is under 11. Go to text, fit to path, and there's your, and you can see right here where we've, we're past 11, but it doesn't, let's take it, let's take it back. Let's do this. Our circle is, let's just make it exact. Our circle is 10.735. So let's make this, 10.7335. Go to text for path, put it on there, and now the buildings are probably a little more even. They're not quite touching, but I don't guess they really have to. Then all these texts I found had windows in them showing the letters. We don't really want that. So I'm going to convert this to a curve, and then I'm going to hit the outline tool, create a boundary. Takes just a second because it's doing quite a bit. Let's just move our boundary out of the way. Now, instead of moving it out of the way, let's let's see how big this is. It's only four inches across, so let's make our nudge distance five. And we took away the inside, which is either one works. Now let's move our circle holding down our shift key. Now we'll take our smart fill tool and fill that in. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to left click so I'm going to not have an outline. And we'll just move it out of the way. And now we don't have an outline. Now all the buildings kind of look the same, but you can very easily change the buildings because now it's a curve. 
And my suggestion would be to rotate one of the buildings where it's perpendicular up and down. Take your shape tool and just grab those, start moving, and then hold down your control button to get it perpendicular. And if you did that just to a couple of the buildings, and you can see now our rotation is off because that building is so much longer. And then just pick another building, get it kind of perpendicular. And if this is going to work if you do not need your skyline. So you could do a multiple things here, select them all, start moving up. And then just, let me zoom in here a little bit. Take your shape tool, and we've already raised part of the building. Now let's raise the other part of the building. So if you did that to a couple of buildings, we'll go ahead and do one more. Just rotate it, and we'll go all the way around the spectrum. We got pretty lucky and got that one pretty much perpendicular. You want it perpendicular because you're going to raise it. So let's move this back a little bit. Take our shape tool, grab that entire building, move it up, hold down the control button. And then let's make this let's make this antenna longer. Anyway, I think it looks pretty good. And I hope he didn't have to use his skyline. But if you just want a skyline, this would work. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.